Hi guys, today we're going to look at a new product from Akio. It's called AKY V720S and we have the mirror right here. Now what's cool about this product is as you can see now we have two cameras opposed to uh, one camera in their previous product. As you can see we only had one camera which was either pointed down or to the front. Uh, now, because we have two cameras, one camera is always facing the front of the vehicle and one is looking inside the vehicle. And this provides you the front view and the interior view at the same time. What this means is that now this creates this whole sphere view of everything outside of the vehicle and inside the vehicle. And you can view all that in the uh, software that comes with the set. Right now we'll show you how exactly it works and how it records the video and then we'll show you how uh, to install it in the vehicle and what comes inside the box. Hello, Akio. When you start the vehicle the mirror will actually greet you, it'll say hello Akio. And as you can see we have three different images on the screen, we have the front view provided by this camera, we have the interior view with this camera and we have the rear view camera as well. You can actually change uh, the views slightly by pressing this button. This one will provide you a better view of the interior and front cameras. You can also choose just one of them, either the front or the interior one. Or you can have the uh, rear view camera only and this will be used mostly when you drive. Right now, I'll just bring both of them back and uh, let's go. If you want to use just the rear view camera, you can actually tap twice and it will show you the rear camera only. Now we have two cameras in the front, the front one and the interior. This allows you to have the 360 degree view. So now I can turn the camera any way I like and uh, I can see every detail either in the front of the vehicle or inside the vehicle and on the sides as well. The previous product from Akio couldn't do it, it could only show you either uh, the front view or it could show you the interior view which did capture a little bit of the front view as well but uh, the image was cut off now with two cameras we actually have the real 360 degree view which is again I think it's quite cool and for drivers who work for Uber or Lyft this uh, becomes a great advantage because they can capture everything outside and inside of the vehicle. The resolution of the front and interior cameras is 1920 by 1920 and this provides you this uh, spherical 360 degree view. Uh, the only thing I noticed is uh, because it's a 360 degree cameras or cam like both of them uh, uh, it doesn't exactly capture all the details as uh, like a regular let's say dedicated front dash cam uh, would do it so uh, it's a little bit harder to see the license plate numbers in case of this vehicle for example but you do get this ability to view everything at the same time. Again, I want to say that I think it's a great product for those who need these uh, capabilities from the dash cam, from the digital mirror. I can definitely see how it can be useful for myself as well. Right now I will show you the uh, night footage, how it records the video at night. And then we'll show you what comes inside the box and uh, how to install it in the vehicle. This is how the mirror looks like at night. You can change the brightness in the settings. 
We have three levels of brightness. Right now it's at three. You can change it to two and to one. This is more suitable for night driving. Uh, you can also press this button and it will turn off the digital screen. And now you can actually use the mirror as the OEM. And right now we'll go for a drive again. This is how the uh, cameras record at night. Again, I'll show you guys that you can view everything inside and around the vehicle. We can see this gentleman right here working hard. And uh, yes, it does record uh, everything that basically going on inside and outside. Uh, this uh, mirror doesn't come with infrared cameras. But even without them, you can still see what's going on inside the vehicle in case that's a concern. So I don't think it will be a problem. Uh, one more thing I forgot to mention is that when you use the uh, digital mirror like this, it does eliminate uh, the blind spots behind the vehicle, on the sides of the vehicle, which is quite important as well. And this specific mirror does work well in this respect. Again, I want to say that this is quite an interesting product. Uh, I will leave the link in the description in case if you want to check it out. And uh, uh, let's see what comes inside the box now. Our mirror dash cam has 11 inch screen, as I said before you have two cameras and they can be extended like this in case if you have an obstruction right here. Also we have only one cable uh, which is split into three. In the end we have one for the GPS, one for the power and one for the rear camera. Besides that, uh, as you can see we have hooks for the rubber straps and we have the power button right here if you press the power button this will turn off the digital uh, image and you can use it as a regular mirror or if you press and hold this will turn off the product completely we have the mic and uh, right here we have the sd card which is in this case uh, 32 gigs but i would suggest to get a sd card uh, with higher capacity because uh, uh, we have three cameras recording at the same time and they do require a lot of space that's why the time uh, for the 32 gigs I believe it only records about one one and a half hour of worth of uh, recording so I definitely suggest to get a, a larger SD card right here we have the rear view camera which is full HD uh, the cable, I believe, is 8 meters long. This is a connector which gets connected to those uh, one of those three wires which I showed you before. Uh, besides that, we have um, the power cable right here. Gets connected to the cigarette lighter socket. We have two types of rubber straps. We have short ones and uh, longer ones for larger mirrors. Also, we have the GPS module and uh, this is actually quite important in case if you plan to install the rear uh, camera on the rear windshield. This is a special bracket which we'll be using to do the installation. Here it is. 
Uh, I'll show you how it works. It gets connected, so these ends get inserted like this, and uh, it gets connected by using the small screws right here, and this end can be installed on the using the tape installed on the windshield. In order to install this bracket, we had to remove uh, the double-sided tape from here because otherwise you won't be able to uh, use the small screws because the holes only align when you have removed the double-sided tape. As I said, set comes with two small screws. In order to work with them, you will need to use, uh, in this case, it's a zero, 00 size, precise screwdriver. It's quite small, but this is exactly the one that we need to tighten these small screws. I will attach the rear view camera approximately right here using the tape and uh, as you can see this bracket allows you to adjust the angle and gives you a lot of a lot more flexibility in terms of installation on the rear windshield i will be using the rubber straps to attach it to the original here i'm using the short ones in this case And here we are. The cigarette lighter socket gets connected to this one. As you can see, this uh, plastic piece on top matches the one in this connector. So I'll connect it here. And uh, the GPS gets connected to this wire. I will quickly show you guys the menu and the settings. Uh, this button will take the picture. If you press this button here, this will save the current file from being overwritten. You got settings. You can stop uh, on and off the video recording here. I'll turn it on. These are the different modes which I showed you before. I'll go back. And here we can also turn on and off uh, the microphone. Let's go to settings, brightness. Again, three different settings. We've got screen hibernation. What this does is it uh, turns off the digital image in case if you want to do it this way in 10 uh, seconds, 30 seconds or one minute. Right now it's off, so the screen will be on all the time. We've got the parking mode settings. Uh, this mirror supports the parking mode, but you do need to get the hardwiring cable from Akio. I don't have it, so I will turn it off. Uh, we've got language settings, uh, English. We can format the SD card from here. You can change the date. This is a G sensor currently set to low. We've got the GPS signal strings. Uh, we can change uh, speed units from kilometers per hour to miles per hour. You can change the HUD mode. HUD is uh, when you see these uh, 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 the speed, I believe, the yeah, speed clock and direction. You can choose either of these. Right now, we have all of them. Go next. Uh, recording microphone. You can change the volume. So right now it's set to middle. We can turn it off completely so now there won't be beeping sounds anymore. You can change the time settings and uh, we can restore factory settings from here. Uh, that's pretty much it for settings. If you want to access the recorded videos, you will need to turn off the video recording first. And now you'll see this uh, play button here. And you'll see normal video, event video, park video and photos. So in normal videos, you will see all the recorded videos so far. 
you can view them from here this is the rear view and uh, front and interior views uh, that's pretty much it for our today's review thank you guys for watching i hope you like this video as i said before i will leave the link to the mirror in the description and uh, we'll see you in the next video